She's here. She's a New York Best Time selling author and award winning producer. She's also the daughter of comedic legend Joan Rivers. Please welcome back to the show, Melissa Rivers. Yes! to see you now let me tell you your book is hilarious <laughs> uh, lies my mother told me is confusing a lot of people some of our viewers have read it so that's because a lot of them think the stories are true so I want us to set the record straight truth or lie your mom was friends with the Pope and would text him no <laughs> I have some more for you you have an older okay. brother named Melvin lie I'm pretty sure okay. <laughs> and then one last one the one thing your mom hated more than anything was your bangs oh yes <laughs> I love, yes. I love I like your the bangs. bangs. I'm, I'm here for it. Thank I you. Yes, I love the bangs and I love the frames. Very cool. Now, Wait, why did she hate the bangs? I'm just curious. That's a yeah. good question. What was going on with the bangs that mom was not feeling? <laughs> she just never liked them. She just <laughs> never liked them. I don't know why. It was just a thing. She also didn't like when my hair was in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you had a lot of constrictions on your hair. Get, ask me how many I listen to. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're rocking the bangs right now, and they look amazing. Now, I have to ask you. Thank you. Is there any lie that your mom actually did tell you? Because it seems like all the lies, all the truths are lies. There are. Okay, I think I understand. You're asking for a real lie. It was a terrible life, question. Not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to follow. I didn't even know what I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mom t t tell you anything that? W w what is the damn I, question? Are you? Are you? I didn't get it. <laughs> okay. So, so has lie, your mom ever told you a lie? Told in, wait, what? Okay. So a lie my mother told me in real life that is not in the book. Yes. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. There, there we okay. go. It's like follow the bouncing ball. <laughs> um, so I was very anxious when I was going to have Cooper, mm. and. My mother told me, don't be scared. I don't know what the big deal is with you being nervous. They gave me one shot of painkiller when I had you and I was fine. Here's where she was mistaken and I don't think she meant to lie. It was Demerol IV drip. Oh, <laughs> big difference. So, little painkiller. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, well, what were you talking about? She's like, it was just an IV. <laughs> so. And she really didn't realize that she had no clue what she was saying at that point. <laughs> there you go. So it was good. And <laughs> it yeah. took us a minute to get there, but there was a good question and great answer. That's well, it. There you go. So you make up some pretty shocking stories about your childhood in this book. But was your childhood outrageous? Having a famous mother, was it outrageous or traditional? I think what everybody's so surprised at is my childhood was very traditional. My parents worked actively to make sure I always call it the separation of church and state mm -hmm. they Aww. were very clear what was fake life and what was real life as I also like to call it so we sat down for dinner every night they never missed a school event it was so clearly the outside world and then who we really were there were I know we're not allowed to have this anymore with our children expectations <laughs> responsibilities you know stuff we're not apparently not allowed to have anymore that we're just supposed to let them all be happy and free oh i got grounded there was no discussion about it <laughs> it wasn't like let's talk about this no they're like give me the car keys that's it you're done those pictures were fantastic, I by the way. I, I was, they kind of caught my eye. And I was like, wow, that's really yeah. bringing us in. So I was you. looking at those pictures. I was like, how, those sunglasses are super in style right now today. And it's interesting how everything's cyclical. Uh, <laughs> agreed. Thank you for that. I Al. love that that's what you picked out of those photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were such like, beautiful photos, oh, scary moments. Right. I, I thought the like fashion was <laughs> I thought the fashion was really cool. It was beautiful. Go ahead, Tori. I will say, Melissa, your mom sounds like my mom. I caught a call the other day, and she goes, your eyelashes look very dark and very fake. Goodbye. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. <laughs> so it's just so, so similar. Now everyone's looking. Um, you're, you said your they mom. They look good. Thanks, babe. Hold on. I'm I, looking super close. Okay. They look good. Okay. 
Wow, that's a meme. Don't listen to her. She's wrong. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate okay. that. Uh, was your mom, you kind of touched on this a little bit already, but I wanted to know, was she strict? Was she someone you felt you could go to for weird, awkward sort of puberty questions? I've always wanted to know that about Joan. I don't know her. Um, my parents were pretty strict. Now, the joke is they both thought they weren't, but I did spend a significant amount of my teenage years grounded. Oh, wow. So if they thought they weren't strict, I'm not sure what, you know, they weren't living in the same house as I was. That's, <laughs> that's, now, you know, and one time my mother actually said to me when we were with Cooper, wow, you're so much of a better parent than I was. And I cannot tell you what a frightening statement that was. <laughs> like, I think you should leave that inside in your in your you know inner monologue, not your outer. <laughs> Don't talk that out loud. Um, no, no it's in, I, you shouldn't share this with me. No, um, I also hear, and I can imagine that your mom liked to pull pranks. And I was wondering what was oh. sort of the most impressive prank she's ever pulled, because it sounds delightful. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the one one of the ones that I love was one of her closest friends was this very elegant, very famous hairdresser who went by the name Mr. Kenneth, and he did Marilyn Monroe, wow, and Jackie Kennedy. I mean, like all the New York society ladies. And I guess one point in his younger years, he was in the Navy. So she took a picture of him from when he was a child. She dug up and sent it to a portrait artist and had him put in like a little sailor suit and a tattoo and a parrot on his shoulder <laughs> like it was the silliest silliest thing and he lived in this very elegant apartment building and she paid off the doorman and went and hung it in the lobby <laughs> of the apartment building <laughs> and their game was he would not acknowledge these things so she's all giggling and laughing, and they have a conversation, does not acknowledge it <laughs> for like a week. Poker Will face. not acknowledge it. So she pays the doorman again and moves it up into the, like the little private vestibule of the two apartments on his floor. Will still not acknowledge it. <laughs> Made her crazy and like her and her best friend Archie used to walk up to strangers on the street in New York and say excuse me can we ask you a question which of us is prettier oh wow <laughs> that's awesome I love it I <laughs> love that mess with people <laughs> Tori would not like that game what are you talking about <laughs> which one's prettier <laughs> yeah so I mean she just you know just uh, what always offstage went for the absolute silliest yeah I love it and Melissa I want to ask you this because you know your mother was arguably the most famous female comedian mm -hmm. maybe still to this day ever Pioneer, so like I yeah. really honestly on the Mount Rushmore let's keep it 100 she's famous 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 so was their pressure what, what kind of to walk us through the pressure of being Joan Rivers daughter like what was that like I can't imagine um what was the pressure like you know, it, it's different pressure. It's pressure, again, of, you know, honoring the legacy, yet still being my own person, um, getting acknowledgement, which I still do not receive for what I've achieved in mm. my career. My mother used to always talk about that was the most frustrating thing for her, was she got all the credit and like with the red carpets and fashion police and all these different projects we did together. And I didn't get the credit that she felt I almost deserved more than her. So I think that's where it is. But again, you, I love my mom yeah. and I was so lucky that we got to work together and, you know, being part of a team was so hard when she passed and figuring out what is my voice without Right. You know, I was the straight man. You, I was just going to say that. I, I watched it. all of your I E on the it. red carpets, you and your mom, every single one. I laughed with you because, you know what, you being the straight man, you brought out the best in your mom. Mm -hmm. You gave her that opportunity. So I, I miss the two of you together. While we have you, let's get your take on a story that's making the rounds. Amy Schumer recently mm -hmm. said that she got death threats after her Kirsten Dunst seat filler joke at the Oscars. What are your thoughts on comedians? I mean, you know this world better than anyone. What your thoughts on comedians who push limits the fact first of all the fact that that was pushing a limit yeah. is <laughs> absurd 
absurd. Right. Right. Absurd. And if anybody in their right mind thinks that it they that aim that uh they that it wasn't set up ahead yeah. of time is like beyond naive. Wasn't it just magic that the camera was right there to catch it all? Um, that's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. And speak it's out of control. Speaking of which, with everyone jumping on the cancel culture bandwagon, do you think your mom in the touchy 2022 era would have been canceled? Or would she have been That's the exception to the rule? Fascinating question. Um, I think hopefully she would have been the exception. And I also think at this point, people keep asking me, what would she be doing? How would she be dealing with it? I think cancel culture would now be part of her act. Yeah. Mm. I think that's Absolutely. And the absurdity right of it. Yeah. So yeah. that that's sort of where my head is. You know, who's going to, who would have canceled her? You can't. Who would have canceled her? Yep. Like Dave Chappelle, you can't cancel no. him. Yeah. No, she's an anomaly and she paved the way for everybody else. So you just respect her. Uh, DBL Nation, if you want a good laugh, you got to pick up a copy of Melissa's book, Lies My Mother Told Me. It's everywhere <laughs> that books are sold. Melissa, we adore you. Thank yeah. you so much for today. Absolutely. Appreciate Hope to see you soon. Congratulations on your fantastic book. Mazel tov. We'll be right back. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.